Welcome to the Energy Toning Podcast, where I talk about all things energy medicine, consciousness, and how you can live in a higher vibration. Hi everyone, and welcome to Energy Toning. My name is Liz, and today I wanted to talk about how to know if your kidney function is depleted on a bioenergetic level. So emotionally, the kidneys and the adrenals are linked with our willpower, our drive and ambition. And the emotion that most damages them is anxiety and fear. So on a physical level, we can go and get our kidneys tested with a blood test that looks at the glomular filtration rate, which ideally should be above 90 millimeters per minute. So this will give you a good biochemical indicator as to how your kidneys are doing. But on a bioenergetic level, your kidneys can still be depleted even if your blood test does not show any indicators yet. This is because one aspect which precedes illness in any organ of the body is the emotional aspect of disease. So if we've been under a prolonged stress where we regularly feel tired and depleted, this can be an indication that the emotional energy of our kidneys needs some attention. So if we suffer from lack of ambition, procrastination, fatigue, a vague depression and general sense that we are lacking courage to follow through with certain things we want to do, this can all link to the kidneys. So some symptoms, some other symptoms of suppressed kidney function are poor stamina, low back pain, dizziness and tinnitus. There are also links with the brain and lack of concentration, plus with problems with the knees, with the bone marrow and immune function. Obviously, these symptoms are not all linked to the kidney, but they can be clues on a bioenergetic level. So some bioenergetic tools which can help are daily meditation to bring down the hyperactivity in our brains and reduce the stress hormone cortisol in our body. Breath work, we can sit quietly and focus on our breath where we inhale and hold for five seconds and then exhale and hold again for five seconds. So doing this for five minutes will help balance the oxygen to carbon dioxide ratio within your blood and relax your muscles. Often when we're under stress, the problem is not so much that we don't have enough oxygen, it's that we have too much oxygen because of the shallow breathing which comes with anxiety. And also you can do Qigong. So some Qigong exercises for the kidneys. Um, one is where you're gently tapping or rubbing the kidneys with your fists. Another exercise is standing barefoot on the earth and raising and lowering your heels continuously. So this pumping action through the feet can help bring energy into an important acupuncture point for the kidneys called gushing spring. So it can have both a calming and an energizing effect. And lastly, daily vocal toning can be a fast method to bring the stress and anxiety down in our bodies. So if you want to learn vocal toning, because I find this can be effective, you know, within five to ten minutes. Um, if, you, if you're interested in learning how to vocal tone, you can check out my seven day energy toning challenge where I'll teach you the basic sounds of energy toning. So that's it for today. I hope you found that useful. Um, I look forward to chatting to you very soon in the future. Bye for now. Just before you go, would you like to supercharge your meditation? Would you like to release negative energy and experience profound inner peace in 10 minutes or less? If so, take the seven day challenge that has freed up people's hearts, minds and emotions and unleash their personal power using nothing but their own voice. Click the link below for more information.